Hello and welcome to the Andrew Plays channel. Welcome to something a little bit different. We are playing FM, but also we're not playing FM because what we're going to do today, we're doing a simulation of the first five years of the top five leagues in Europe. So obviously we've got England, Italy, France, Germany and Spain. And we're going to be following that through, seeing what happens each season, who's winning the leagues, who's winning the Champions Leagues, the Europa Leagues, the Conference Leagues, and at the end we'll have a roundup of the World Cup and the Euros that have taken place as well. And at the end we'll have a roundup of the World Cups and Euros that have taken place as well. I believe we'll have two World Cups and one Euros, so we'll see who wins those as well. If that sounds like something you're interested in, leave a like down below. Let me know your predictions for what's going to happen in these five years. Are Newcastle going to break into the top four? Are one of the big teams going to drop out of it? Maybe Arsenal decline out of the top four? Who knows? And let me know what you think is going to happen in the other leagues. Most likely PSG are winning every league in France. Can Dortmund get an upset win against Bayern Munich in Germany though? Maybe with Haaland? It will be tough because obviously... They've got Lewandowski, but it'll be interesting to see what they can pull off. If you fancy sticking around on the channel, then check out the Manchester United beta save we've got going on. We're in the second season now, which is going to be the final season for the beta save, because on Tuesday, we've got my main save coming out, which is going to be unknown to world known. We start unemployed, Sunday league reputation, no badges, and we're going to see where we end up with our first job. Most likely it'll be Europe. But we do load a lot of leagues for it. And then we'll see how we progress. The overall aim of the save is I've got to win three Champions Leagues with two different clubs. That way it can't just be one team that dominates for three years. I've got to actually move and build at least two teams at a Champions League level. Maybe if it goes really well, I might be able to get three Champions League with three clubs. We'll have to see what happens. But if that all sounds like something you're interested in, hit the notification bell so that on Tuesday... 5 o'clock, you can catch episode 1 and see where we're going to be starting our journey to eventually stardom. So we're going to start off in the Premier League and after the first season, Manchester United have won the title by 11 points. They only drew one game in the entire season, although they did lose seven and a few of them are to teams that would have been, you know, challenging them. Although they have beaten City both times from the looks of it. And two losses to Liverpool, two losses to Arsenal, and then a split of one win and one loss with Tottenham and Chelsea. Cristiano Ronaldo leading the way, top goal scorer. It's almost like they watched the first season of my beta save. The big shock for me here is Leeds and Wolves getting relegated though, down into the Championship, and then Southampton qualifying for the Europa Conference League. You'd expect it to be Leicester or West Ham. Really, I can understand Newcastle not being in that battle with it being their first season with the money. While we're touching on England, we will have a quick look at who's coming up from the Championship. Fulham, Bristol and West Brom. So Bristol, that's quite the shock seeing them come up from the Championship. I don't think they're particularly favourites to be in that battle. In fact, they're expected to be in a relegation battle, if anything. So a fantastic season from Bristol, but they are going to be up against it in the Premier League. And while we're in England as well, we will have a quick look at the two Cups. So Carabao Cup was won by Manchester City. Shock and horror all around. And the FA Cup was won by Liverpool beating Birmingham in the final. What was the route for Birmingham then? They beat Arsenal 2-2 and then on penalties they won the game. So Arsenal fans, sorry to bring up the Carabao Cup from 2011, but it's, it's that all over again. And then before that, they beat West Ham. So they've beat some good opposition to get through to that final. But then for coming up short at the final hurdle. Italy next. And Juventus haven't managed to bounce back from losing their first league title in nine years. Because they said it's AC Milan who topped the league. Inter Milan in second. Only one point behind though. So actually it seems a decisive moment. Seems to have been a week before the end of the season. Inter Milan beat Juventus, which would have potentially taking Juventus off the top of the league it depends on the results between teams in Italy so Milan might have still been top anyway their first title in 11 years for AC Milan and what a return to the top of the division winning it by a single point outside of that not really anything much in the way of shocks in Italy 
as I've advertised this as the top five leagues, so I'm obligated to bring France in. PSG won it. We saw that coming. Germany, again, pretty expected. Bayern Munich win the league by 23 points. That's absolutely ridiculous. Erling Haaland gets top goal scorer, but the rest of his team clearly aren't at it because they're nowhere near Bayern Munich. Despite that Lewandowski only scored 22 goals, only 22. What a ridiculous sentence. But it shows that Bayern just have the better team, whereas at the moment, Dortmund don't have the squad to compete. Be interested to see if that changes. In Spain, Real Madrid returned to the top of La Liga, though. 11 points clear of Atletico Madrid. Barcelona just behind them, two points back. And then outside of that, again, nothing really too shocking. Sevilla finishing fourth. I think you kind of expect that. They're, they've been a very good team in the last few years. And possibly the most shocking is Eden Hazard being the best average rating given his career at Real Madrid has gone off a bit of a cliff. Into European football, we've got Roma beating West Ham in the Europa Conference final. That was a very unusual final. Two teams that are kind of always been just on the peripheral of the like top teams in their countries. I mean, maybe less so West Ham. They've dropped out of it a few times, but they're back in that kind of, you know, they challenge for the European spots every year now. Europa League won by Chelsea, 3-1 against Dortmund. So you can tell that's two teams dropping out of the Champions League in the group stage, which is a bit of a shock. You might have a quick look at who they had in their groups. And in the Champions League final, Bayern Munich get revenge for the 99 treble winning season by beating Manchester United 1-0. So not quite allowing United to get the double. But a seventh Champions League win for Bayern Munich. And we will have that quick look at the group stage just to see who Dortmund and Chelsea drew. So Chelsea, Milan and Real Madrid. I can kind of deal with Chelsea going out there with Milan winning the Serie A. However, Dortmund going out to Porto is quite a shock there. There's not really anything else that stands out to me at this stage. I'm not going to look at this every season. It was more just out of interest for how Chelsea and Dortmund ended up in the Europa League. Because they're both very big teams, really, for the Champions League. So with that, we'll move on and have a look at year two. The second season has been simulated. Manchester United win the title again. Six points clear of Chelsea this time. Despite Haaland, who's joined City, being the top goalscorer. 20 goals, which is quite low for a, a Haaland season. Relegated with Brentford, Norwich and Bristol. So Bristol struggling in the Premier League. As you can see, only 16 points they got there. Newcastle not quite getting the money going in their favour yet. Finishing 13th. But Everton getting back into Europe. Liverpool dropping down into the Europa League spots. While Tottenham take the Champions League spot. Being promoted, Wolves bounce straight back with a dominant season in the Championship. Sheffield United and Bournemouth join them as Leeds and Crystal Palace manage to get the playoffs but don't bounce back. Carabao Cup, surprise, surprise. Man City have won it, beating Crystal Palace in the final 4-1. And they also won the FA Cup with a 2-1 win against Manchester United after extra time. Juventus are back to the top of Serie A, 8 points ahead of AC Milan. And then Roma and Inter just off them. Not really any shocks there though. The Toro Martinez top goal scorer. But it was kind of the three you'd expect to be challenging for the title. Roma, a little bit of a shock getting in that three. But not massively shocking, I wouldn't say. Of course, over in France, PSG have won the title. Who saw that coming? Uh, what's that? Eight points. So the gap is smaller, but they've still won the league. Nobody's surprised. And in the Bundesliga, again, the gap's closed. Bayern Munich only winning the league by five points this time round. Dortmund have dropped down to third, with Leipzig having a very good season there. But other than that, again, no, no any real shocks. It's a shame to see Stuttgart getting relegated. I do have a thing for Stuttgart. Shout out to Vogslammer coming in with the most goals in the league, despite playing for Union Berlin, who, in theory, they've survived because of him essentially, with that many goals from a team that are in a relegation battle. That's ridiculous output for him. And it, over in Spain, Real Madrid retain the La Liga title. Three points ahead of Atletico. But the big shock here, Real Sociedad finishing above Barcelona. 
breaking up that top three in Spain. Lewandowski is at Real Madrid as well. Ike Mignane having a very good season at Bilbao. And a very good season for Budimir at Osasuna as well. In the Europa Conference League, Southampton pick up the win. So the second ever winners of the Conference League come from England, beating recent French champions Lille in the final. Europa League, it's Arsenal beating Inter Milan in the final. So fantastic result for Arsenal. They finally pick up some European glory after they lost out to Chelsea a few years ago. But Inter Milan miss out. It's been a while since... There's been an Italian team at the top of European football, even if this is Europa League. And the Champions League, this time around, Manchester United win the double with a 2-0 win against Atletico in the final. Who did they overcome in the semi-final? Real Madrid, while Atletico denied the chance of a Champions League final replay, beating Bayern Munich on penalties. Year three now, and Manchester City are back to the top of the Premier League winning by three points for Manchester United. We've also got Newcastle getting in a Europa League spot in sixth. Meanwhile, further down the league, Tottenham have dropped off massively, dropping down into 10th. They weren't really ever in contention from the looks of it for the European spots. Sheffield United, Bournemouth and West Brom getting relegated. Watford and Fulham managing to survive though. And down in the Championship, Leeds almost as dominant as Wolves. Picking up 104 points to get back into the Premier League. Brentford in second. And then Nottingham Forest some way off in third, winning the playoffs. I think so far every team who's finished third has also been the team who got that playoff win. Which is quite interesting. Carabao Cup, surprise, surprise. Man City win it for what's now the seventh time in a row. Beating Chelsea 3-1 in the final. However, in the FA Cup, it's Liverpool lifting it as they beat Manchester United in the final on penalties after a 3-3 draw. So, Manchester United not winning either of those trophies. Can they pick anything up in Europe? In Italy, AC Milan are back to the top of the league. They finish eight points ahead of Lazio, who've got involved in this. And then Inter Milan in third, Roma in fourth, and Juventus dropping into the Europa League for next season. They've got to be favourites for the Europa League, surely. Well, them and Liverpool could arguably be favourites for the Europa League to be fair and the big shock so far PSG have been beaten to the title by Lille for the second time in four years massive shock really Lille having Brenner be the joint second top goal scorer but no sign of Neymar or Messi in the top goal scorers list out of interest where are they Neymar's fourth so okay he's only one goal down Messi only managing 12 goals though so big shock in France as PSG lose out on a league title once again. Off to Germany, however, and Bayern Munich are an absolute joke. They've, they've not even lost a the game. They've not even lost. Not, never mind lost, they've not even drawn. They've won every single game. 102 points. What did they do? 100 goals, 23 goals conceded. They Nobody can compete with Bayern Munich. They are just ridiculous. And I can only assume, surely they won the cup as well. Of course they did. They beat Dusseldorf 4-0 in the final. And in Spain, it's Barcelona who win the league title now. 14 points clear of Real Madrid as Atletico finish third. Nothing unexpected there. As Real Sociedad dropped this time into fourth. Although they were really battling with Atletico for that third spot. So maybe we could see an upset in the next couple of years, where Real Sociedad win a La Liga. Unlikely, but we might. And in the Europa Conference League, Napoli win in extra time against Nice. Liverpool, as I mentioned, possibly favourites, have gone ahead and beat Mock and Gladbach in the final after extra time. And then in the final, Manchester City finally get that final step to win the Champions League. So it's been a very good season for them. Carabao Cup the Premier League, and now the Champions League as well. Bayern Munich losing in the final. Is this the only game Bayern Munich have lost all season? Let's have a look. No, it's not. However, they've only lost three games throughout the entire season in all competitions, and they've not drawn any. That is an unbelievable Bayern Munich team. Season four is done and dusted. Manchester City win the league again. 
three points ahead of Manchester United. Chelsea and Arsenal round up the top four, while Liverpool sit in fifth, Newcastle also there as Villa finish in the Europa Conference League spots. Very good result for them as Tottenham miss out again. And further down, Brentford, Watford and Leeds all relegated. So Leeds going straight back down as Nottingham Forest survive. Down in the Championship, we've got Bournemouth, Norwich and Crystal Palace coming up. So Crystal Palace finally returning to the Premier League. Carabao Cup, Liverpool win, knocking out Chelsea in the final. Do you knock somebody out in the final? I don't think you do. 4-0 thrashing for, 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 for Chelsea. Manchester City went out to Chelsea to stop them winning a seventh Carabao Cup in a row. And the FA Cup, though, Chelsea do win that one, beating Manchester United in the final. Out in Italy, we've got Milan retaining the title. The first team in this simulation to retain the title. Seven points ahead of Inter Milan. And then a further... 11 points back to Juventus. That's 9 points actually. So in Italy, AC Milan win the title. Retaining it. The first team to retain it in this simulation. Inter Milan and Juventus restoring normality by being the two behind them. Not really anything shocking in Italy. Apart from Milan kind of returning to such a dominant position. Although I think if you look at the squad in real life, it is possibly on its way. Order is restored in France as PSG... Win the league by 21 points. Lille end up in third. But Casper Dolberg with 20 goals for Nice as they secure European football. And Guri with 19 himself. So very good goal scoring season for Nice. Bayern Munich dropping off this year. But in fairness it's only dropping off because they won every single game last year. They still win the league by 18 points from Leipzig. But other than that, again... You could say Schalke getting relegated is a bit of a shock there. Latoura Martins and Verts having good seasons for Bayern Munich. But nothing else particularly shocking in there. Just a very good result from Bayern Munich who dominate again. Back to winning ways for Real Madrid who win the title by two points from Barcelona. Out of interest. Was it on the final day that was decided? It was actually. Barcelona only managed a draw. While Real Madrid won. So that potentially. Let's have a look at the results between them. In the first game. Barcelona won 3-1. And then drew one. Barcelona bottled it on the final day. Drawing with Real Sociedad. Who nicked a third place spot again. So another good result for Real Sociedad in the league. And they cost Barcelona the title. And in the conference league. Leicester pick up silverware. Beating Atalanta in the final. A very good result for Leicester there. They've picked up a couple of good wins away on the way as well against Valencia. Europa League, it was a Monaco win in extra time. Although Newcastle showing some progress there. Getting to the Europa League final. They're only just missing out on Champions League football as a result of that. But they've run it very close. Fair play to them. And the Champions League, that one hurts as a United fan. Man City retained the Champions League with a 2 0 win against Manchester United. United beating Bayern Munich in the semi final, a repeat of the final we had in the first year of the simulation. And in the final simulation of the Premier League, Manchester City win the title on goal difference. Absolutely devastating ending there. And if we have a look at the final day from last season, oh my goodness. Manchester United lost from 2-0 up against Chelsea. They were 2-0 up. The title was in the bag. And they've conceded three goals to lose the title on goal difference as Man City won 4-1. That is devastating for Manchester United there. Also, Nottingham Forest, Norwich and Crystal Palace, the teams relegated. Aston Villa, a year after getting European football, just about hold on to their Premier League Survival, Newcastle dropping down massively, as did Tottenham finishing down in 12th, as Fulham finished 6th. Where's that come from? Over in Italy, it's a, another win, three seasons in a row for AC Milan. And perhaps the biggest shock here is Atalanta and Lazio finishing 2nd and 3rd, Inter Milan down in 4th, and then Juventus once again only getting Europa League football. Juventus once again only getting Europa League football. 
and Napoli also just seem to have struggled throughout this whole simulation, to be honest. They've never, I don't think they've ever finished in the top four, which isn't something I'd put down as Napoli to do. But I think Roma and the Milans both come in a bit stronger than them, really. In France, unsurprisingly, PSG win the title, which means four out of five titles have gone to PSG, which in itself is a shock, the fact that it wasn't five out of five. But in Germany, let's have a look. Did anyone manage to upset Bayern Munich? They did not. Bayern Munich winning the title in the final season by 25 points. Dominant again, of course. You expect that with Bayern Munich. Unbeaten again. So that's two out of the five seasons they've begun unbeaten. Ridiculous form from Bayern Munich. And we end in Spain with a Barcelona title win. But the shock here is Sevilla finishing second, a team who haven't come close to breaking up that top three, all of a sudden being the ones breaking up the top three, but also Real Sociedad, again finishing fourth. They're 10 points off Real Madrid, but they've still ran it close. To be fair, Sevilla could well have taken that to the final day. Out of interest, Sevilla beat Real Madrid on the final day as Barcelona won, so wasn't the final day when Barcelona would have clinched the title from the looks of it but still very close run from Sevilla and fair play to them as Atletico drop all the way down to sixth. Europa Conference League wise Aston Villa lose 1-0 in the final two and elect so despite ending up just about surviving in the Premier League they also went all the way to a European Cup final which is very contrasting seasons for Villa but I think if you were offered a Villa fan, survival in the Premier League and the final of a, the UEFA Conference League, I think you'd most likely take it as long as you're staying in the Premier League because it may not be the money of the Champions League, but I imagine you get some money for a run like that. The Europa League won by Liverpool. The Europa League won by Liverpool. That's a second win out of the five years for them, beating Leicester in an all-English final 3-1 in St. Petersburg. Great result for Liverpool. Yes, it's not the competition they'd want to be winning. They'd want to be after the Champions League, but still a very good result for them. And in the final Champions League final of the simulation, Manchester City crushing Man United 4-0. That hurts to see. But absolutely dominant from City. And unfortunately, not a good finish for United. That, is that three Champions Leagues in a row for City? It is. That, that is disgusting to see. It really is disgusting to see. And then finally, we'll have a quick look at the Nations League and the Euros. France won the first Nations League with a win against Belgium in the final 2-1. Then we had a win for Germany, with winning 2-1 against Italy in the final. And England, most recently winners, with an extra time win against Spain. Bright future for England, perhaps. And the European Championships were won by the Netherlands, 3-1 after extra time against Italy. Where did England go out in this one then? Oh my goodness, 6-4. Italy won against Belgium in the semi-finals. That's not the Italy who won the Euros in real life. That's a very different Italy. And then 5-1 against Poland. England went out to Belgium, 2-1. So you can kind of understand why they went out there. Although this was hosted in Germany who went out in the second round to Italy. That would be some very unhappy German fans. Of course, finally, we've got to look at the World Cup. The 2022 World Cup, England won 3-0 in the final against Germany. After 52 years of her, England win the World Cup. And then in 2026, oh, oh. No, that's the third place playoff. Hold on. So England lost in the third place playoff to Argentina. That still hurts. Extra time. Not as important as losing the World Cup final though. So the set, the final would have been competed between Portugal and Switzerland. And the winner of that, Portugal, winning the World Cup in 2026. That would be a shock, I think. Especially as Ronaldo would be retired at that stage. I, th I couldn't see that happening in real life. Particularly Switzerland being in the final as well. But that does it for the five-year simulation. We've got a bit more in-depth than what I've seen some of the other YouTubers do. So I hope that manages to make it stand out a little bit from what other guys have done.
If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and if you want to check out some more other content, we're going to have the we've got the Manchester United FM22 beta save ongoing at the moment. We're in the second season, which will be the final season because we're going to wrap that up at the end of this season because of course unknown to world known will have launched at that point. So come along on Tuesday, 5 p.m. See where we're going to be starting our journey from unemployed, no coaching badges, Sunday League reputation to winning three Champions Leagues. Come along for the journey on Tuesday. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can catch those videos. And thank you very much for watching.